when you're presenting to judges, it is quite nerve-wracking, let's be honest about it, isn't it? So practice, practice, practice. Do it to your own team, do it to yourself in a mirror, do anything in order that that is not your first experience of presenting it, it's when you're actually in front of the judges. I think the judges want to see what you're about, what makes you tick, and how have you ended up with that mood board yeah. and, and the concept you have. And It's great to have somebody who becomes alive and animated with it as well. If talking is not your strongest point, then visually that should be your strongest point. I'd rather someone say not a lot, but have an amazing image and present it really well. If you get a nervous person in the room, we're always quite encouraging, I think. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're always kind of nurturing yeah. of it. I would hate someone to think because they're like shy, they get nervous, but they're producing amazing work that they wouldn't get through. Because for me, it's actually what they're producing, yeah. what yeah. they're actually creating. Yeah. That's the most important thing. The type of competition trend vision is as well as, as you evolve through it, you get, you get more confidence, you get mm. used to presenting more. And I think it's great for any individuals that maybe want to push themselves a bit further and mm. try and improve their confidence and working in a competition environment. Know it inside out, feel it, be true to yourself. Mm. It's not You're not doing it for anybody else other than yourself and you had that initial spark in your head to go with something that means everything when you're judging it having been at the side of being a competitor in there mm -hmm. and then also judging you get a sense straight away that someone has got that personality whether they're nervous or mm -hmm. you know they're a bit unsure about what they're going to show that they really love their look from mm -hmm. top to bottom yeah. they put all their heart and soul into it and that comes across when they present as well i, I don't know if you necessarily have to get over your nerves because your nerves are it's a, a good, a good energy mm -hmm. yeah. um yeah. i mean i still get nervous before i go on stage but mm -hmm. then I, I always realize that actually i'm not out there to please anybody i'm out there to share and, and to give information so if you just be yourself that's much better than trying to please everybody and be somebody else and be nervous the biggest thing i've learned over the years is to go slow and talk about what's in front of you i.e their mood board to, to link it with their hairstyles and to actually to go with the finished look and when you do get stuck go back to your mood board and pick it up here because that is always that support point which can help you